Everybody, Goldie here, and today we are going to be doing uh, free-to-play tests for the Red Stipulation Tours, the Red Color Clash. So nine different superstars, all free-to-play, all obtainable with an entourage that is also free-to-play, and you know the drill. In hell mode, we're going to toss on the promoter and see if my three picks can three-star hell mode. Uh, going to start by mentioning the enforcers. Um, the enforcers are free to play as well. And you'll see in normal mode, uh, it's 3000 talent. In hard mode, it's 9000 talent. And in hell mode, it's 12,000 talent. Um, so in my talent up videos, when I've said I'm prioritizing my enforcers, this is what I mean, is getting them to 12,000 talent. So I will be equipping them throughout the video because they are free to play um, and they are going to help you uh, three star your stip tours. If you don't, maybe if you maybe if you don't have like the most ideal option, your enforcers are definitely going to help get you some extra points as are your promoters, um, but we will talk more about with the promoters in hell mode. Uh, so we're going to start with normal mode and normal mode means we're going to take three kind of off the wall picks that everybody gets right at the beginning of the game. And we are going to start with Acro Dolph. Um, running joke in my faction when I started the color clash spreadsheet was, well, no one wants to use Acro Dolph on red day. Guess what? We're going to try Acro Dolph on Red Day. Um, so keeping it super straightforward, MP Trainer, Gem Generator. So Big John Stud is the guy that generates red gems, which means RIP my coins, because I'm going to pay 50k to move them every time. That's fine, though. Choice I made. Um, and in this case, Xavier Woods is purple. The running corner splash is a 6 MP move. He's going to make 8 random red gems and uh, invest in your tour perks. Invest in your tour perks. We're gonna get plus one on matches, which is gonna be super helpful. So we have our enforcers equipped. We don't have a promoter because we're not gonna use one for uh, normal and hard, but let's see how Mr. Acrodolph does. And like low key, I just wanted to use him for the gear. Let's be honest. That's dope looking. Not that it even like does anything at this point. Red submission moves do 300 more damage per turn. Oh boy. Oh, oh wait, wait, it's a one turn sub? It's one turn? What? Oh no baby, what is you doing? Nice! Nice! So with Dolph, if you don't have any purple matches, you could always, you know, toss out the sub and buy yourself an extra turn. We're also going to keep him alive while we do this. Not that the heal gems are very strong, but... Also, I love that when you do zero damage, they just kind of get up. Or you just shove them. Right on, right on, right on. For Dolph, you could put um, Zombie Charlotte as a coach to help you get some more... Um, purple gems on the board. The, um, the Hall of Fame coach for red gems, unfortunately, is Alita. And she's not available in the game right now. So that kind of sucks. But 
purple day and green day for free to plays is a lot easier now with Hall of Fame Eddie and Hall of Fame Hall being given out for free. And we're kind of effed here, but yeah, that's going to end the match. He's also only three star bronze, so these could scale up. I, I, I need to take him 5k for his trainer ability. He's been on the back burner, but if you're just starting out, Acrodolph will three star the first match of normal. Thank you for showing everybody that gear. I remember liking that gear so much that I bought it with hangers way back when that was actually a thing. Again, not that it does anything, it just looks really cool. Alright. Chips acquired. Let's go test out character number two. Alright, option number two is Undertaker, the American Badass. Um, so his black move is a yeah, black one. Snake Eyes 7 MP is a choose red move, which will help the unfortunate thing about recycling the black move is you're kind of nerfing your black gems to recycle it's like choose to make into red this makes red as well but you turn black gems into red and then when you charge this move you make black gems into yellow to make black gems into red and then you just run out of black gems Anyways, gonna run Bray for Black MP, gonna run Big John Stud. Again, we have his really cool gear. Oh! Oh, okay! Okay! Moves that generate red gems will create two more red. Let's go! Let's go, badass! Let's go, badass! I'm probably in the minority, but this was my favorite version of The Undertaker. Probably because I grew up like this was the era I watched wrestling in. But, okay, so we're choosing 10. At 3 star gold. And what we can do is, you know, try to set ourselves up to break some blacks and help reload that move. So we can break reds and then get blacks. Nice! Okay! This is actually going to be a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I know, two whole gems from the gear. But still, it's a choose move. So that's helpful. What we're not going to do is nerf our black gems with this because this is charged. And we can... We can do that. And then that'll drop into some kind of whatever of whatever copyright golden girl whatever of whatever um not not free to play i don't think but elias is the black move charge coach uh so having him on these black matches would be very helpful So let's... I, I know we've three started already, but we also want to see like how well we can cycle things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, I mean, we can, we're going to nerf all of our black gems, but we're making 11. If 
there was a break red get black plate that would be dope that would be dope um and that's gonna be ready to go on the next turn so no we don't need to do that we don't need to do that what we'll do is just take a red match And it's the last turn, so we'll just connect all the red gems for all of the things and all of the points. That was decent. That was decent. That went a lot better than I thought it would. Right on. All right, let's take a look at the last character for normal mode. All right, option number three is the, what, second, third character you get in this game? Uh, Shobo John Cena, the original. And um, at four star, he gets the little submission move here, but that's not what we're gonna focus on. Uh, the sit out hip toss is a 7 MP, choose 5 gems to make into red gems, and he has a red move, that is choose 5 to make into reinforce. So we're going to see if we can get double the breakage with the reinforce gems here. Um, he's got a bunch of gears too. I have two of them? Alright. The bright orange shirt. And the bright red shirt. And I ain't got the bright blue shirt. And I got the bright Santa shirt. What a terrible pay-per-view name. Um, so they're just gem damage. They're not generated by any means. So if you have them, great. If you don't, whatever. And, um... Yeah. Let's see what he, we can do with his reinforced gems. Also, because I'm scuff, I forgot to mention Steel and Big John Stud. Green MP, red gems. So, okay. Oh, a sub is a 7 charge too? Choose 9 gems to make into red gems. And we want to do this by aligning green matches. But I also want to leave myself a wild card. Because I want to do choose five gems to make into reinforce. I want to do that. So you'd put the reinforce on red to break them. Or he could just, you know, steal our red match. Whatever. Take our greens. Put some reinforce out on reds. Doable. Doable. Probably a better idea to um, put these out 
without matching them and then choose the reinforce and then match them for double the break. I feel like that would be the way to go. We'll get one more crack at it, I think. Oh, we won't. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. A low charge uh, choose move. Definitely going to help. Especially when you're just starting out. Alright, that is normal mode done. With three kind of not ideal people, or not people that you would think of. Um, none of them powerhouses. We did an acrobat and two showboats. Um, but I think Five of the six going forward are going to be powerhouses. And we have a striker. Again, all free to play, all obtainable. So let's go ahead and get set up for hard mode. All right, we have entered hard mode. Enforcers are equipped and ready to go. And the first person we're going to try is powerhouse Shelton Benjamin, the gold standard. Um, looked better on paper to me. If you were running him as a fighter, you'd probably want this to reload the greens. But he's got two moves that make random red, so this is what we're going to try. And I'm going to go steal for more green and Big John stud for more red. And then I'm going to throw on Ray, who is free to play, accessible. Um, to give us an extra blast gem. And what we'll do is we'll use the 450 splash first to put out random blast gems, and then we'll turn, because it turns blue into blast, and then we'll convert the blue into red and hope that that turns some of the blast gems into red gems, and then hopefully we can connect them. I don't know. It looked, like I said, it looked better on paper, but let's, uh, let's see. Yellow match will take it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. So my three random blasts. And then eight random blue into red. And that did what we wanted it to, is clipped a green, and then we can throw out eight random red. No recycling with this, which is why we're like relying on the blast gems, but we got an absolute dud with, with MP recycling. So this probably isn't going to be all that great. Yeah, no no greens, no yellows on the board. I mean, we three-starred it. This is why we're doing one of the easier matches. Um, but I don't think this is somebody I would recommend going forward. Don't want to break the blues. Well, at least connect that and that. So, yeah. Two unreliable for me. Got the job done in an easier node, uh, but too reliable. Uh, too unreliable, so not 
somebody I would recommend. Uh, let's move on and take a look at another option. All right, next up is Ultimate Warrior Powerhouse, which is actually somebody that I used quite a bit when Stiptorius first came out and I didn't have Walter or a really solid red gem person. Uh, but at four star, so you could do a three star build as well because he makes random greens into reds and then destroys reds. Um, so that's an option at three star. At four star, I prefer the double yellow moveset. So you're swapping an area into reds, you're making random blue into reds, and you're making cross breaks, which is going to help you blow up the board and recycle. So for this, I use uh, Big John Stud and Kofi. Uh, Stud gives you an extra yellow MP, and Kofi gives you an extra red gem. And then Zombie Cena for an extra cross break. And I find... Like, we probably could have tested him out in Hell Mode, because I feel like with the promoter he'd be fine. But I have other options for that, so let's see what he can do. All right, so with my tour perks, this is ready to go. That's ready to go on the next turn. That is not, so we will take a red match. Get points for destroying. Cascade into a pin, so there's an extra 2k for points. And what we'll do is we'll throw out the cross breaks first. Oh, right. He has a monthly boost. Well, then. Normally, we would only make three. And I don't have his gear. His gear gives you an extra one. But because of the monthly boost, he gets three extra. Be prepared for it to only be three. Uh, and then random two by four into reds. And hopefully he clips one of these, which means with, with our luck, he'll go up here. That was close. Hey, we got it. Yay, we got it. All right, cool. That's what I wanted Powerhouse Shelton to do with the blast gems, but you know, best laid plans and whatnot. Throw out some more cross breaks and just explode things over and over and over again. Um, if if Warrior is one of your mains, you could run a General's Orders plate on him as well. And that would help you with your MP. Nice. And the board will go back. And then, you know, lather, rinse, repeat. I like that they landed on blues. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. RNG, baby. Blap. 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 Boop. Boop. Nice. Take that! Yeah, we're running up the score like nobody's business with Warrior, so. Stay tuned for part two, because there are plenty more options. And I may give him a run in Hell Mode.
All right, that was really good. That was really good. Which, like, pray for the guy going next, but I think he'll be fine too. Yeah, sweet. With a promoter, definitely can help you out in hell mode. Keep in mind, boosted with the cross breaks. But let's take a look at the last person for hard mode. So the last person we're going to try for hard mode is Killian Dane, the Beast of Belfast. And we're going to do double yellow. I think that's a four star build. Can't remember. Also, not sure if like the, the guy isn't with the company anymore. Hasn't been for a while. And he's still available for people. Uh, but whatever, we'll take it. Uh, he's got two moves that make red, and then he has a choose destroy finisher, so we can use this. It only destroys three, so you could use this to pick off your yellows and cascade, or you could choose five red gems to modify into blast gems and hopefully blow up the board, but as we saw with Powerhouse Shelton, eh. So, we will run Big John Stud and Kofi, so extra red gems, extra yellow MP and uh pray for the best real talk i don't even know who this guy is all right so random blue into red but oh okay all right and then just random into red I know the finisher was ready, but let's at least, you know. All right, cool. You're gonna take the yellow match, aren't you? He didn't. All right, so we're only destroying three, but we can at least m give ourselves, you know, to take these two yellows, drop those two down, give ourselves a row break which will break a red gem, and then we can, you know, take that yellow one too, to charge everything up. Easy peasy. And then start over. Well, last turn, so... Mm. I don't know how tricky we can get with that. Because we're only just turning three, but... Haha! Cool! That's it, okay. Not as good as Warrior, but, I mean, certainly effective. Certainly effective. Alright, so that is hard mode done. So let's uh, let's grab our promoter and set up for hell mode. Welcome to hell mode of Color Clash Red. Enforcers ready to go. And three characters picked out, equipped with promoters, and we're gonna see if we can three-star hell mode. So the first person we're gonna try is Powerhouse Booker. Uh, he was a free MLC character in November. Let's take a look. This is actually a two-star build. Um, a 6 MP that throws out random reds, a finisher that recycles the yellows, and a kick out that recycles the yellows as well. So good for red and yellow day. And we're going to run Big John Stud and Kofi. So we're going to make 11 random. And we do have our powerhouse promoter, uh, Tech Macho Man, at 7k. So we're going to get 50% more stipulation score from stipulation battles. And those are available in the showdown shop. They are free. It is a grind, but they are free. You can get them. So let's take Booker out for a spin. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Gem checking commence. Oh, and it didn't cascade. That's even better. Because we can just set ourselves up for an instant recycle. Nice, nice, nice. One turn, one star. They are going to pin. Which is fine. We can use this. We don't need to, though. It's going to make yellow gems, and I don't want to, you know, destroy or cover up the reds we have on the board. That would be, like, if for stipulation tours, if the yellow move isn't charged. For some reason. Dodge, misplay, etc. But, uh, we're looking good. We're looking good two turns in. Finisher. And we'll go here, drop these down, hopefully connect there. Get some points for destroying red, charge up a little bit of everything. There we go. Again, could use the reversal, don't need to. Fairly seamless recycling. So much so that, I mean, we got board luck with the not cascading. But I know we're covering up some reds. That's Hell Mode 3 starred. Didn't even need the promoter to get there, which is nice. Again, don't need to. We got a lot of red on the board, so I like to connect as many as possible with this. Blap. And boop. Ta-da. Solid option. Solid option. And like these aren't leaderboard options because there's going to be people using Hollywood Hogan's Endless Loop, Walter's Trap Gems, Powerhouse Kevin Owens when he's leveled up, um, Macho King because of the damage. Like, you're not going to leaderboard with these people, but you will three-star and get your coins to get your food promoters. That is the most important thing, is just making sure you can three-star. Uh, so Booker did great. Let's, uh, let's take a look at someone else. So next up is Bret Hart NWO 2000, and we are going to run the double black with the arm drag. Uh, so the DDT is the move that makes red. It makes four random gems into yellow, uh, red gems. I know how to read. Um, and then the spike pile driver basically helps reload both of your black moves, and the arm drag will give you some more black gems if you need them. So we're going to try... Uh, Big John Stud for red gems and Bray Wyatt for black MP. I have 70% from the promoter, which is Shawn Michaels. And let's see how he does. Those sunglasses freak me out every single time. Every time. Oh, good. He doesn't have the stun move. Those are so dumb in Stip Doors. Like, can we not have that. <laughs> Stun moves, submission moves, and trickster dodge. Like, why are you in a step tour? Please go away forever. 
Um, Alright, well we can take that for the finisher at least. This may be one where the promoter bails us out. We shall see. here. Thank you. Black. Ah. All right. At least get points for the pin. This is not working the way I thought it would. We got two turns left, and I think we're SOL for three star. We'll see. We'll see. Good, need some help with the board. Yeah, that's not going to connect to anything. All right. Oh, and it covered up that pocket of blue gem or red gems. Crap. Well, two star with the promoter at least. That's that's a given. The three star might be a little rough. Nice. Nice. I mean, using this won't do anything. We won't connect anywhere. Uh, but we can grab this, drop that, and break some more reds. So we'll do that. And maybe three star with the promoter? Maybe? Fingers crossed. I can't do math in my head, so. Come on, big money, no whammies. Yay! We did it! We did it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. We... Yep. Excellent. Alright. Uh, one more person to look at. So, let's go test them out. The last person we are going to try was um, last MLC's free character, and that is Powerhouse Angelo Dawkins. So we are going to run double purple with red two. So we're going to make seven random reds. We're going to make countdown gems that turn into blasts. And we're going to decrease the countdown timer by two. And blow up the board, hopefully recycle. So for this, we've got Macho to promote. We're using Woods for more purple MP. And Big John Stud for more red gems. And fingers crossed, we do have a trickster dodge warning. So, you know, prayers up for your girl. But let's see. Stirring up dubs. Stirring up stip tour dubs. All right. Gonna hit this first, obviously. See if we can connect some reds. Wow, there's three on board. Wow. Wow. No love. No love. Oh well. Board is going boom next turn. The 
doesn't matter where they go. I like that. Blip! Yay! I don't like it for our score, though. Good lord. I mean, we can at least drop and do that. Get some pinning points, but ugh! Ugh! Again with the random blast gems looking better on paper. We're not even ready to go next turn. Don't break the purple, don't break the red. Yay! Okay. Cascade into a black! Just keep blowing shit up. We gotta we gotta get at least two stars. Arrgh! This is not going. This is not going the way I wanted it to. Throw out some random blasts. Throw out some random reds. And that means we connected. Ooh, Lord. Ah. Ah. Oh, it's gonna be close. I don't like it. I don't like it! Come on. No! We fell short! Rip! Alright, so... Oh no, how... How short were we? Oh, you son of a... Condition by a thousand. Unacceptable by a thousand. Oh, God. Oh, this is the saddest day. F's in the chat. A thousand points. Oh, so sad. I mean, it's only like 26 chips, but still. Still! Alright. Well, ending on a little bit of a bummer, but in terms of free-to-play characters, we tested out a lot of options, found a lot of really good ones. Um, there is going to be a part two at some point. I had about 17 on the list, um, and I'm sure I can find more. Because I like I, I can easily find more to do a fresh nine. Um, so obviously, Walter, Powerhouse Kevin Owens, Macho King, Hollywood Hogan, the go-tos for Red Day. But in terms of free-to-play options, uh, who do you use? Who do you want to see tested out? Let me know in the comments of this video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.